Hey, good morning, guys. We're getting ready to get this ride started. Got about eight bikes here right now. Maybe a couple more show up here in a little bit. But uh, we're here at Savannah Harley Davidson getting ready to go on this Iron Butt ride. I'll catch you guys a little bit further down on the ride. Yeah, I'm going to practice with him. I practice with him tomorrow, man. I, I'm good going straight, but I don't like doing U-turns. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here comes Wood Jr. and Robert Simmons in. Robert's not going with us. He's just going to see us off. But that's eight bikes. One of the guys had a bad stator, so they helped him get back to the hotel. Nine bikes. I missed that one over there. Gather round. Guys, you want to see a ball of energy? Watch this right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, Papa D-Rod? Gotta give a guy Papa D-Rod. What's up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> there he is. That's what hey, Wood, did you say Jay was coming? Jay! That's right. Jay. Is that him? Oh, yeah, that's Jay. I can tell. Hey, Jay. That's Jay. What's up, I just said, where Jay at? <laughs> so, what I want to do, guys, uh, I want to start passing this out. Papa D. Rodgers, you know what's up, y'all? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so, just, just, this is all you guys do. Just follow these simple instructions. Once we're done with the IVA, remember the main goal is to take pictures of your receipt and to make sure that your um, odometer is not on trip A or trip B, but it's actually on your mileage. That's the, uh, the uh, flaw that I had. But of course, IBA, you know, overlooked it because they still, you know what I'm saying, put all the numbers together. And I made my first IBA, all right? I thought we actually did 1,030, but when IBA did the research, checked it out, it was actually 1,002. So, you know me, I just couldn't sleep, sleep on it. I was like, well, why? Well, with the Harleys, they're like 30 miles, 25 to 30 miles off, off from the actual GPS odometer or something, or the GPS mileage or something. Yeah. So. When you think you're right at a thousand on the Harley, you have to actually ride 30 more miles. So that 130 should be 160 to get 130, if that makes sense, or 1,030, I should say. All right. So these are the simple instructions. <laughs> I appreciate all y'all for coming out for this. Um, I know I talked to a couple of people and they said that they've done this before, but haven't done it for actual credit. I'm the same way. And I was talking to Wood and Wood. Bug me and bug me and bug me until I was like, all right, yes, let's go ahead and do it. Make it official. So then he put it on his YouTube channel and now we got, <laughs> got 10 people coming with us. It's a total of 10 of us. So what we'll do from here is doable. Yeah. Even if we lollygag around and take our time, but let's try not to take our time. <laughs> um, yeah. We, we want to try to get this done as quick as we can just we'll for, I mean, we all want to get home and we don't want to be out here 24 hours and trying to at 22 hours and be three hours out uh, approximately 20 minutes per gas stop and that's only because of the uh many bikes that we have so you know so the ibs a thousand miles the saddle sword thousand miles is what we're doing so if you take that thousand miles divided by 24 because it has to be done within 24 hour period look at it <laughs> has to be done in 24 hour period uh so a thousand divided by 24 is actually uh, 41. All right. So technically, you can do this riding 41 miles per hour. All right. We'll actually have time to actually sit down and eat. For those who don't know, what Julia, I love to eat, man. No. You don't leave Olive Garden and then go eat meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so real quick, guys. I mean, we're, we're going to be in each other's company for the next 24 hours or less. So if everybody could just introduce themselves, just let us know where you're from. We can get going. I know you guys are like, let's do it. But that's, I mean, we, we want to know who we're riding with, right? So we'll just start from left to right. How you doing, sir? I'm Jake. I put some bass in there. What's up, Jake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really from Jacksonville, Florida, but right now I'm just riding out of Bluffton, South Carolina. I'm like 30 minutes from Awesome. Jake, you, you got, got you on thermals, Jake? I do not. Oh. What do you say? What do you say? Yeah, yeah. Ask the Diablo Thermal. What do you say? I do not. Hey, you're going to feel it. We'll be all right. These ages are going to go shot. Hey, it's going to be a learning experience. Let's go, Lawrence, South Carolina. All right. Leroy, I'm from Gray, Georgia. Awesome. Tim Marshburn, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. Awesome. 
Awesome. Thomas Wobbly from Atlanta, Georgia. Shell. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> MJ from all over. <laughs> all over. Service, guys. <laughs> what did you say your name was again? Leroy. You guys heard that, right? <laughs> Leroy. Nothing's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with it. <laughs> you don't see you don't see a Leroy that color at all. <laughs> appreciate you guys thank you guys i mean this shows that you guys take this seriously and we also take this seriously man we're going to start together we're going to end together all yeah. right so you guys ready to do this we'll uh open up with a uh start with a prayer and then we'll get going is that good yeah. absolutely all right <clears throat> lord god we we thank you for your presence we thank you for blessing us to be able to uh ride alongside of our grows and our grow -ass. we pray that you protect us god as we begin this uh saddle sewer 1000 plus iron butt association challenge uh, Lord God, we pray that you go before us as we're on the highways, Lord Jesus, as we make uh, gas station stops as well as we uh, stop and eat and fellowship. God, I pray that you go before us, God, as we start this challenge together, but that we also complete it together. And God, we just pray that you just keep uh, all hurt, harm, and danger away, and we thank you for your hand of protection. In Christ's name, amen. <laughs>
gas stop, everybody fueling up. They were out of premium and plus, so we had to get regular. We get ready to get back on the road here. Uh, a little cool. Had a deer run out in front of us. I didn't put my clear visor on this one. I can only pop it up. So we got all the traffic. It got down in front of me. So I've been looking through a tinted visor. So I didn't see any deer, but these guys said deer ran out by us. And uh, I've changed. I got my clear visor on now. Got me some gloves. My fingertips to get a little cold. Otherwise, I feel good. All right, let's get on up the road. As we came into Atlanta, the temperature was steadily dropping, and it was evident that a few of us had not prepared as well as we should have. It's way down here. Yeah, let me see. Because it's got to be on there. It's, it's the... down here. Oh, there you go. It wasn't in my picture. Oh, yeah, you got to get the entire receipt. Yeah, yeah. Try to get the entire receipt. I'll tell you what, let me hold it for you. It's so. Something to get. You got it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can see it now. You see the mileage in the receipt? Yeah. Good. That's what you want. I put it down and I was when I got off the bike. Man, I, 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 I just so... got used to it. When I went inside the store there, I'm sitting there shivering, man. I'm, I'm so upset with myself, man. Oh, I'm mad at myself, too. Oh, man. When I got all the gear and I left it sitting right there, man. Man, my wife says, you're going to get your uh, heated gear? I said, nah, it'll be like 70, 80 degrees. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> then Ross even told me, he says, you're going to get your heated gear? I said, nah, God. Yeah, well, Ross, you got to get the man. Hey guys, Alright guys, let's check back in with you here real quick. It's uh, 9.30 and we spent a little bit more time here in Atlanta than we planned on. Well, we're just, I guess, west of Atlanta on I-20. But uh, It got colder than we expected and uh, like an idiot, I left my coat. I got a windbreaker Harley-Davidson fleece coat keeps me really warm in this kind of conditions <laughs> i left it hanging up in my hotel room and uh wood jr didn't bring his heated gear so we ran into walmart real quick i got a sweatshirt and he bought him some stuff to stay warm everybody else 
some people put on their heated gear now um, and then we'll be back down where it's warm here in a couple of hours but uh, we were getting a little chilly so we decided to hop in and get us some warm gear and now we're back on the road if this works properly guys I'll be able to put a link to the spot walla tracker that I'm using uh, to track the ride you guys will be able to follow me along uh, and look to see exactly where we stopped and all that good stuff so when you see our third stop that's where we're at right now Guys, I'll catch y'all a little bit later on. Right, guys we're getting us some lunch here what is this place called jim and nicks jim and nicks what you got sly what you eat yeah it's mac and cheese i got me some brisket chili it's about 40 degrees outside, so it's going to be good. We pray that you bless this man we're about to receive, Lord. We thank you for safe travel with us for in Christ's name. All right, guys, I turned the camera back on here. We're rolling through Alabama, throughout midway between Birmingham and Montgomery. But my motorcycle is getting ready to turn 30. 30,000. I'm at 29,998. So we'll give it just a couple of minutes here and see if we can get over to 30 and get it captured on this camera. 29999. There's all the nines. 30,000. Look at there. Woohoo! All 
All right, fellow riders. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to call my followers or my subscribers. I'm trying to figure out what to call my subscribers, but you know, Woods got Wood Nation. Robert's got freeloaders. Two lane life's got two laners. Maybe I'll just call y'all my fellow riders. So, fellow riders, we're coming into Montgomery, Alabama. And it has warmed up significantly since we dropped south. Um, I don't know what the thermal barrier was today, but it was some kind of freaky weather where it's, you know, probably 20 degrees difference in the past 100 miles in the temperature. Uh, Montgomery. I don't know if they're to the left or right now. Yeah, they're off to the left. There's the city. Now, let's see if I can zoom that 360 camera around there so y'all can see it. Get through Montgomery. Our next stop is down at our Mobile. Um, we're rolling pretty good now. We can make some time to get out here for our next gas stop. I don't know if that's going to be before or after the mobile. The slides got all the got all the plans of where we're going and where we're stopping that kind of thing. But I know some people said they wanted to stop at the Bucky's, and uh, there was supposedly a Bucky's just east of Mobile on I-10. So I think that's what we're going to try to do. We'll see if that happens or not. Anyhow, guys, I'll check back in with you later on. Papa D out. I'll see y'all guys down around Mobile. All right, guys, we're here at gas number five. I guess we're about 100 miles from Mobile, Alabama. Your receipt rip? Likely story. I don't blame you, man. <laughs> Woods getting another seat because it's ripped. Either way, we're at gas stop number five. Uh, I think we're taking a little bit longer on the first half of this thing than we maybe needed to, but that's all right. We're still on target, and that's all that matters. We're going to have a quick meet, man. Guys, I'm I'm first down one. Oh, so we are at the uh, five. Monday mark, we just hit, we're probably at what, like 540 now or something? Yeah, close to 550. 550, so close. Uh, Almost there. this is the, this is the time, man, that, uh, as we used to say uh, in wrestling and track, the monkey is on your back. It's going to, man, it's when you're going to get fatigued, you're going to get tired. You got to do whatever you can to shake it off, even if it's coming to the back with me. So if I see you begin to weave, please don't take it offensive if I ride on the side and you say, just follow me to the back you know with me because what i'll do is put you in front of me and therefore that'll kind of help out you know what i'm saying yeah so but yeah man this this is please do whatever you need to do because uh these two wheels are man this is no joke man it's not like we're in a car guys i mean one one doze and wrong, one wrong turn can end you and and the rider you know do something I said something oh, important God. earlier. She said if you do a basic stretch, that helps as well. It does. There it is, big time. Yeah. Hey, let's do some push ups. Hey, don't run. I need it off. Hold on, hold on. That's what I'm talking about. Hey. Hey, y'all can do hey, the way you want to do it. Wait, so, what's the ones I be doing? Like, just basic? Just Zoe? Yeah, it was just single. Oh, yeah, single. No, 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 that's what we're doing. I'm doing that. 10 and 20, Marine Corps. Because you're oh, one, two, three. So, take it easy. Yeah. Because yeah. you're yeah. yeah. just doing one, two, three, one. Then it gets two push ups. Oh, All right, whatever well, y'all ready. Wait a minute, what do you know about this, too? Wait a minute, y'all gonna do Marine? No, y'all can do singles if you want. All right, here we go. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Here we go. What are you doing? Here we go. I see what I'm talking about. Get it, guys. Push up. Begin. One, two, three. 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 One, two,
And that's how those guys celebrated the 500 mile mark. <laughs> I don't know what's happened, but there's a vehicle vehicle on fire up here. Looks like they just had a crash. Uh, prayers for everybody. That vehicle is fully, fully involved. Oh mercy! I hope everybody's out. Vehicle on this side of the road too. Waze had just reported a vehicle was stopped up here and I just wondered if that stopped vehicle got hit. Uh, this is terrible. I'm sick to my stomach right now. Oh, mercy. Well, if they didn't get out of the vehicle, there's no surviving that. Careful over here too. None of those had any damage to them. There's rescue coming now. You guys don't know I was a first responder for a long time. That's some bad news right there if they didn't get out of that car. Lord bless them. Let's see or pray for them and their family right now. Mm. Alright, I gotta turn the camera off. Guys, I would get you some 360 footage, but my camera froze. So no way for me to stop now and do that. So I figured I'd turn on the forward-facing camera as we went across this bridge. We're getting close to Mobile now. And I think we're gonna stop at Bucky's, but I don't know that for sure. The Tinsaw River. An old buddy river. <laughs> see that boat down there? I don't know if you can see it or not. I know we're in Alabama. That reminds me of being down in Louisiana on the bayou and seeing somebody out there in a, in a boat. Yeah, the guy was one down between these two bridges in his boat. And this is Milton Lake. And 
the Maddie River. Oh, water, water, water. It's everywhere. The Mobile River. This morning I was so clear a lot as I need to see the horizon and the fog. Excuses were too for a penny. We are rolling into Mobile. I think we're going to be going through the tunnel here in just a couple minutes underneath the bay. So turn the camera on for a few minutes to see what I can get. Tighten up the gap a little bit here. We've really done pretty good getting through traffic uh, in and around towns today in cities. Atlanta wasn't that bad. We went through there early in the morning, but thankfully it was Saturday. Interstate traffic's been pretty heavy though. on our way to Pensacola. I'm trying to think if I've ever been through this tunnel. I think I went through here on the way to Pensacola but the first time I came down with the road glide group was we went to the air station and went to the museum there on, on base. But I know when we left the air station we took the ferry across the bay. I cannot remember if I've been through this cell or not. Once again, no 360 footage because we haven't stopped and that camera is froze up right now. Much as I would like to do that. <laughs> Welcome to Mobile, Alabama. All right, down to the tunnel we go. And I have been through this tunnel one time before. Because I remember riding right through the town over here. Thinking I was going through town. And this thing I know, I'm in the tunnel. Down into the depths of the tunnel we go. over there guys hope that's gone before we get over there or hope we don't have to go where that's at we've had cold weather but i don't want to be wet Signs right there for Bucky, so <laughs> and Jay, the guy right in front of me on that snake venom road glide, <laughs> he pointed it out. There's a couple of guys that had told the slide they were disappointed we didn't stop at the one earlier. So, this actually works out good for a gas stop and probably for dinner, um, or at least grab a snack or something. Uh, we should be about close to 700 miles in. I'll check that when we get stopped and I can actually look at the mileage. Alrighty, we're going to Bucky's. I bet we can all find a gas pump at this place. <laughs> My goodness. 
It's as big as the Walmart Supercenter. Well, pretty darn close anyhow. Guys, this is definitely one of the largest gas stations that are only for cars I've ever been to. But it's so loud in there, I didn't really, I took a picture of it. I didn't film in there. But my pump was pump 52. So lots of gas pumps. All right, guys, we are getting ready to pull out of Bucky's and make our way back. We've eat up a bunch of time here. And so we've got about an hour to play with unless we cut some time off the trip on the way back. We're getting back into like 23 hours total time out. So uh, we're gonna have to get it. We got 500 miles left to go according to Sly. So he made it 1100, almost 1200 mile ride. So we could actually probably stop short of that and get a receipt and call that our thing and then ride back to Savannah so but we try to get all our miles
at what I believe is fuel stop number seven. I gotta go inside to get a receipt. <laughs> Papa D Ryan. Hey guys. Pretty much me and Wood are here by ourselves now. Everybody else kind of peeled off. Yeah, doing their own thing. Off, we got our last receipt, number nine. Uh-huh. Yep. We're done. We're about to get his receipt now. So we got about two hours before we get back to the hotel. Yep. Or Wood gets home. Oh, there you go. We'll see. Because guess what? We, we, oh, yeah, that's right, uh, Wood Nation. We actually, we're actually done. We got four hours to spare. So you think we just get one more receipt to kind of top it off? When we, we get back to... Richmond Hill, man, what? We get a receipt there to get more miles, yeah? Okay, absolutely. All right, well, there you go. This is so, nine, right? Uh, This is nine, yeah. Yeah, so, absolutely. So, so, we can do that because I think they're right there where I'm staying. Uh -huh. There's a gas station right there. Okay, that'll work. Uh, so let's just put the uh, Harley uh, GPS in. So we can just pin it right back there. Oh, I've, already got, I've already got Harley GPS put in. Awesome, there you go. That's what's in there right now. That's how, that's how I know how long it's going to take me to get there. All right, guys, we have officially completed our iron butt. We got a thousand and fifty some odd miles right now, but we have a couple hundred miles left to go, 141 miles left to go to get back to my hotel. And we still have time, so we've got Wood with me, and me and Wood Jr. are gonna ride back to Savannah and get another receipt and add those miles onto it uh, for, our, for our iron butt today. Thanks for riding along, we'll catch you guys later. <laughs> All right, guys, me and Wood Jr. are going to head to the house, I can't sleep. get our last 141 miles in, headed back to Savannah. Y'all said Wood? I can't All right. sleep. Like I said, we're ready to stop, guys. Everybody else kind of peeled off and did their own ride. Some guys went on home. Some people already went ahead and uh, went on, and so they were ahead of us. We decided to take a little bit slower pace from here to the rest of the way back. So. Get through all this construction here. We got to go through Jacksonville. We're about 35 miles from Jacksonville, and then we got to go through there and head on up to Richmond Hill. I'm staying at a little hotel right there, Richmond Hill, right around from the, uh, the Southern Biker place. So that's where we're headed now. We'll get our last receipt and add 141 miles to this, and we'll be almost about 1,200 miles time we're done for our iron butt. All right, guys, I'll catch y'all later. Savannah, Harley Davidson, and complete this loop. Real quick before I forget it, made it back to my hotel. Um, I'll get the total mileage later. But, uh, the last stop here, um, when I stopped here, the gas station up here is closed, so I couldn't get a receipt at that gas station. So I'm going to take a picture of my odometer at the hotel, and I'm sending in my spot walla. GPS so it'll show my location and my odometer and hope that'll work to get my total miles. All right, uh, it's been a good ride, but it's been a long day. I'm tired. I'm supposed to go practice with Robert Simmons in the morning, this morning in just a few hours. So let's see if I can get some rest and see how I feel when I wake up. Guys, if you like this kind of content, like and subscribe to my channel. 
hit the notification bell so you're aware whenever I put up new content. Thanks for riding along with me, and I'll talk to you guys later.